Yeah, it was good. It was fantastic. Obviously, uh, you know, put a bit more pressure on him, serving second in that last set as well. And up until the last game in the fifth set, I hadn't had that many chances on his serve. Whereas, you know, second, third, and fourth, I had quite a few chances and couldn't quite take them. Um, I was sort of waiting for the opportunity, and then in the fifth set, I came up with some good, you know, at least made him play. You know, got the return back in court and uh, came up with a one or two big passes. Yeah, yeah, it was frustrating because I felt like, you know, obviously I was down early. I fought hard to get back, played a good tie break, and turned the momentum. And then throughout the third set, I felt like I was the better player, and I was getting the a lot more of the chances. But I, I wasn't able to close it out when I got those break point chances, and. And then to lose that you know, third set in another breaker, that was frustrating. And, and that's when I had to dig deep to, to try and turn it around again. Yeah, oh, it's, it's great. That's why you still play the game. It, it all happens pretty quick, though, when you're out there actually playing, though. Um, you know, sometimes you wish you had a few more seconds to sort of just soak it up and, and enjoy the moment a little bit more because you know, it's all happening so, so, quite, so fast out there and you've got so many things going through your mind um, at different stages of the match. And... Uh, yeah, even the change of ends, it feels like it goes pretty quick. Yeah, the, apart from the like the feet, it's not my actual toe that's you know the toe that's caused so many issues. That's that's fine um, at the moment. But uh, apart from that, the, the rest of my body felt good today. Yeah, you know, lasted four four hours thirty five minutes. So I felt in control. Uh, possibly moved better in the fifth set than I did in the first set. Um, so you know, got out wide for some passing shots and that, which you know gave me a lot of confidence. But it's a big step up in class. It's a totally different match again. You know, he's not going to be hitting aces, but he's not going to be missing any balls either. So um, he's a quality player over five sets. He's extremely tough. And, you know, I go out there and you know, I'll have a crack. Yeah, I've got to take it to him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I've got to pick the right ball as well. You know, he, he's not going to give you a lot of cheap balls. And if I go out there you know, trying to press too much, then you know, that plays into his hands as well because he's such a good counter-puncher and retriever as well. So I'm going to have to serve well. And, and take care of my service games and, and you know, take my chances on his. Oh, he's improved a lot. Yeah, he, he's not just the absolute clay court specialist, especially in big tournaments now. Whereas, you know, Wimbledon this year, he, he had Andy Murray on the ropes. And a couple of years ago, you wouldn't have given him a, a look in at, you know, playing at Wimbledon on grass against Murray. So he, he's improved right across the board. And, um, yeah, he, he's a quality player, and uh, as I said, you know, I've seen him play the Australian Open. I've commentated, f you know, a few of his matches against the, you know, good players, and um, yeah, he's tough to beat.